Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on today's video, I want to talk about Beerus and his somewhat odd behavior upon seeing Goku accomplish Ultra Instinct. Now, in retrospect, you'd think he'd be delighted about it when you consider what's at stake upon losing this tournament. Not only is Universe 7 on the line, but Beerus's life is on the line as well. Yet, Ultra Instinct represents Universe 7's greatest chance of winning this tournament, at least at the moment. Yet Beerus, for one reason or another, doesn't particularly seem too happy about it. Now, we've only ever seen him have this reaction once before in terms of Goku or even Vegeta acquiring a new level of power. And that is in the God of Destruction tournament, when Goku stacked Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan Blue against the legendary assassin Hit. However, back then, even that kind of amplifier to Goku's power wasn't enough to match Beerus. However, upon attaining Ultra Instinct, Goku was able to somewhat match a warrior who decimated Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku. Remember guys, that's stronger than anything we saw against Hit in the God of Destruction tournament. The very thing that made Beerus somewhat nervous. Now I'm not saying at that point Goku was even close to Beerus's power, but for him to have that reaction suggests that he's at least a percentage of Beerus's power even back then. Since then he's got a lot stronger in his base, and then obviously that means in blue as well, and he's amped it up to 20. Jiren had no problem dealing with him, but Ultra Instinct was able to match Jiren. Now Jiren has been confirmed by multiple sources to be at God of Destruction level. Not only by characters in the show like Whis, but even the Toei website itself puts Jiren at God of Destruction, if not above God of Destruction level. So he's definitely relevant to even somebody like Beerus. So the fact that Goku has somehow triggered a way in Ultra Instinct to be able to combat Jiren, you think it would make Beerus happy, but it doesn't. So that's why in this video, I'm going to discuss with you guys why Beerus fears Ultra Instinct Goku. But just before I start, if you are new to this channel or are a returning viewer and haven't subscribed yet, I ask you all to please subscribe. That way you'll get all my latest content straight to your account. If you love talking about Dragon Ball, you will love my channel. I can ensure you of that. I do a very diverse range of content. I don't just have one subject of Dragon Ball videos. I do news, reviews, theories, power scaling verse battles, factual videos, and even character developmental videos like this one you're watching now. Now, I know some people prefer me to do a certain style. By all means, guys, I do read the comment section. I do care about your opinions. If you want me to do a certain type of video or pay more attention, just let me know in the comment section. The more politer your comment, the more likely I am to take notice of it. The only barometer for me to gauge which videos you guys like are basically the like button and requests in the comment section. So make sure you like the videos that you do enjoy watching. And if you have any requests, let me know in the comment section in a friendly manner. So Beera seems at a bit of an impasse on whether he likes Goku achieving Ultra Instinct or not. On the first occasion, it was quite evident that Beerus's main problem was the ease in which Goku managed to achieve Ultra Instinct. Now, we all saw the devastation on Beerus's face after Goku was beaten by Jiren in the beam struggle with the Genki Dharma. Beerus looked pretty distraught. It's obvious that he has grown to at least like Goku and care about Goku in some way. But Goku then erupted and we saw Beerus with that epic line when he said he's coming. But I'm pretty sure Beerus did not expect Ultra Instinct. And then in the latest episode when Goku got beaten in Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken by Kefla, Goku found a way to once again break through that shell and trigger Ultra Instinct. Beerus once again seemed irked by it. But... This time it was a little bit different. He stood up, fist bumped his own hand and said, let's have a look then, Ultra Instinct. It suggested that he was somewhat challenged in a way. Now, obviously Beerus isn't in this tournament, so he's not going to be fighting Ultra Instinct Goku. So why is he feeling challenged? Well, it's got to imply that it's to do with after the tournament. Now, a few months ago, I made a video 
where I claim Beerus will be awakened by Limit Breaker Goku. Yes, remember when we all called it Limit Breaker Goku? Obviously, it was referring to what is now known as Ultra Instinct. But this seems to be the fruition of my prediction. Now, this begs the question, does Beerus himself know Ultra Instinct? Is he a master of Ultra Instinct or is he still a student of Ultra Instinct? By master, I mean somebody like Whis, who appears to be in Ultra Instinct 24-7. Obviously, then there's even more varying degrees of it because even the Grand Priest is higher than Whis. Goku's newfound power left all the gods aghast and even left the Dai Shinkan, the Grand Priest, somewhat confused. Only Whis seemed to have somewhat of an idea of what was occurring. Obviously, we know that Whis has been Goku and even Vegeta's latest master. He has trained them ever since they've managed to achieve God Key but he's also the trainer of Beerus. Throughout Dragon Ball Super, Whis has been dropping hints to Goku and Vegeta whilst training about the mastery of self-movement, and it hasn't come to fruition till now, but it's very obvious that also he would have been teaching Beerus this, and we heard in the Tournament of Power, a lot of people were claiming that this is an ability that even the gods find hard to reach. And upon analysing Beerus's behaviour, upon seeing Goku trigger Ultra Instinct, it suggests that Beerus does know Ultra Instinct, but is still a student of it. Now, Beerus is millions of years old, so he's probably had this training for millions of years. Goku seems to have just got it just like that. Goku's like, what, in his 40s? And already he could give Beerus a fight at Beerus's full power. Whether Goku could win or not remains to be seen because we haven't seen Beerus at full power. But the fact we states that Jiren could have surpassed even a Hakaijin level suggests that he, Jiren is somewhat relative to Beerus. Who would know better than Whis? Now, Dragon Ball Super pretty much started off with Beerus seeking out this Super Saiyan God as he had heard that this being would be able to give him a good fight. And Beerus said that he wanted somebody to basically play with. That he did during Battle of Gods. Super Saiyan God, it appears now, wasn't even at 1% of Beerus's power. Beerus has then even gone on to suggest to Whis that he should train Goku and Vegeta, but I don't think he ever expected to be caught up so quickly. In the manga, even though it's a separate canonicity, Beerus even tells Vegeta after Vegeta attacks him in Super Saiyan Blue that it will take him millions of years to be able to catch where Beerus is at. This could suggest where Beerus's mindset was at before the Tournament of Power. But since Battle of Gods, he hasn't only seen Goku elevate to this newfound plane of power, he's seen Vegeta do it, and even Freezer. Beerus must surely know that it's a matter of time until Vegeta also gains Ultra Instinct. And should Universe 7 win this tournament, Freezer will also be revived and will also try to attain another power to beat Goku, obviously Frieza will never give up on revenge. I'm not saying Beerus is thinking about Frieza right now, but we do know Frieza wants to control the gods. We do know that Frieza wants to take down Beerus. Now, I don't say this lightly because Beerus, quite frankly, since the inception of Dragon Ball Super, has been my favourite character. But in terms of doing his job description as God of Destruction, he's rubbish. Beerus's job as God of Destruction is to work with the gods of creation to bring balance to the universe and maximise the mortal rating that is determined by Zeno. <laughs> we know that Universe 7 had the second lowest mortal rating coming into this tournament. Now, whilst Beerus points the finger at Shin, Shin is a rookie Supreme Kai. The God of Destruction and Creation are both linked, and Beerus was asleep during the re-emergence of Majin Buu, in which Shin nearly died multiple times. Beerus would have died in his sleep, never mind the time where Boo came in the first place and wiped out nearly every Supreme Kai in Universe 7. Before finding Super Saiyan God Goku, the restless Beerus was basically wiping planets out on a whim. Even dating all the way back to Dragon Ball Super Episode 3, Elder Kai says that destroying life is meaningless because Beerus does it on a whim. And then to top it off, even though the Saiyan race probably deserved it, he ordered Frieza in his sleep to destroy planet Vegeta. Sure, the Saiyans were evil, but Frieza? Something's not quite right with how Beerus has been doing his job. He's been safe up till now because nobody in the mortal universe can challenge him until Ultra Instinct Goku and possibly 
anybody else who may achieve Ultra Instinct, like a Vegeta or even a Frieza. Now, I don't quite think Goku would want to be a god of destruction. He'd rather have Beerus around to train and fight with. I'm not entirely sure Vegeta would want it too. Frieza would definitely want to be a god of destruction, but I'm looking higher than Beerus. If Beerus continues to do his job inadequately, what's to say the Angels or even Zeno himself may replace Beerus as a god of destruction. When you have other beings in your universe that are as powerful as you and you are continuing to do an inadequate job, it makes you look bad to your bosses. And this is why Beerus fears Ultra Instinct Goku. So let me know what you think guys. Remember this video is completely hypothetical, yada yada, take it with a pinch of salt. But if you have perceived Beerus's behavior different to me, let me know your thoughts and why you think he's behaving like this in the comment section. Like I said, Beerus has been my favourite character since the inception of Dragon Ball Super and I want him to be a mainstay right up until the end of Dragon Ball Super. I would like Dragon Ball Super to end with Goku vs Beerus. If you like my videos, don't forget to smash that like button with a Kamehameha. Don't forget to subscribe and remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you will never, e -e -e ever become a Super Saiyan. If you love talking about Dragon Ball on a daily basis, I promise you this channel is for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get all the latest content as soon as it's released.